All right, people of YouTube, I'm here to give you guys an unboxing slash overview of Manfrotto's miniature tripod. I didn't even know Manfrotto sold this. So I'm happy to give you guys an unboxing. So let's go ahead and get to it. So this right here came separately. You know, this is what, of course, holds the phone. All right, so right off the bat, I must say that this bad boy is way bigger than I expected. So much so that I had to pan the camera. Not saying that's a bad thing, though. And this right here is also by Manfrotto. And I know I've been doing the live unboxings uh, lately, but don't think I'm gonna stop doing the other ones. You know, the other ones do take more time, but you know, let me know which ones you guys like better, the live unboxings, you know, or the, you know, the voiceover and the close up different angles of the product and stuff like that. So right off the bat, it feels pretty uh, plasticky to be honest. But overall, the hinges, everything feels nice. Got rubber feet. You know, most miniature tripods, once you lock this in, sometimes with a certain amount of weight, this still moves around. But as I'm moving this, it's not moving at all. Now, I don't want to put too much weight on it, but I'm putting enough, you know, and it's not moving at all. So, yeah, man, that's Manfrotto for you. Right here on the side, I also got where you can uh, set the legs. Hold on, how does that work? Oh, I can even make it wider if I want to by moving this switch right here. Get a close up of that real quiz, Nick. All right, so that's dope. By moving this switch, the legs get all the way low down to the ground, you know. Of course, you don't want to put nothing super heavy up on this, but man, so let me slide that back. Close it, slide it back. So it only opens that far when the switch is slid the other way. Close these up. Go to the ground like that, okay. It also feels good like this too. It feels natural to hold it like that. You know, they advertise that you can hold it like this and you know, be filming with your phone and stuff and what, what have you. All right, so that's so much better. I should start doing my videos like this. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I mix it up every once in a while. You know, you never know what I'm gonna do. So um, yeah, man. So let's go ahead and open up this. Take that out. Okay, I'm starting to notice some things already. What's this? What does this do? So you got like a little lever. Oh, okay, it's a stand. So you can sit it down. You know, I don't know if you guys can see that. Sit it down like that. You got a thread at the back. Hold on, let me put some more light over here. So you got a thread right here in the back. One right here, you know. And I guess you just, so I guess you just take it and do that so you got your landscape mode like that you know what i'm saying or get your portrait mode on flip it down like that so it's pretty cool i like how they made this uh tripod head too where you can twist this little thread right here without turning the whole thing how some how most miniature tripods are Yeah, man, that's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. So when I'm doing vlogs on my phone or, you know, I'm supposed to be in a few months getting a GoPro. So doing me and my son doing our vlogs. Bam, I can do just little simple stuff like that. You know, go somewhere holding it like that. You know, or boom like that. Yeah. I didn't even know that these extended, but I take it. And that's gonna do it for this unboxing slash overview of Manfrotto's miniature tripod. Um, I guess this is the model name right here, Pixie Evo. 
mini tripod evolution. And then this is the smart clamp, universal smartphone clamp. It's been your boy M. Lee on the films, and I'm out. Peace.